The Eagles are ready to rewrite the narrative of Grape Creek. There's a family affair in Paint Rock, and a handful of new head coaches are ready to leave their mark. Put your hands together because season passes back, and it starts right now. Welcome to the new and completely revamped Season Pass. I'm your host, Ryan Reynolds. Probably not the Ryan Reynolds you all expected, but the show most must go on. We have a ton in store. We're going to go ahead and we're going to preview all of the high school teams here in the Concho Valley. A ton of football action to look forward to. And for the show, for new viewers out there, you can expect Concho Valley sports news. You can also expect state and some national news from time to time. Let's go ahead and get right to it, starting with the Central Bobcats. Central was the last team in the Concho Valley to hit the field for two days. Thank you, Spring Ball. They got back to work to prep for their second season in the Metroplex Heavy District, where the Bobcats are projected to finish second. No quarterback controversy at Central as Malachi Brown took the field and looked sharp early on. Throws were on point, and he looked fast on option plays. His versatility is something head coach Brent Davis is, is excited about out of his first full season as the field general. We know our quarterback, and we know how to react to if something goes wrong. Like, he's not going to be under pressure. He knows what he's doing, and we know what we're doing, so... What should we get? Having a dual threat quarterback is huge. I mean, in today's football, especially in the offense that we run it, it just puts the defense in a little bit more of a bind, you know, when you got to worry about that. And we do a lot of zone read with him, and, and we have some other things that we do on the line of scrimmage that, that you know, he makes calls and, and uh, put himself in a good position. But having a, having a guy that can do both is, is huge. The Central Bobcats trying to get their season off on the right foot. One team that's ready to explode in 2019. How about the Lakeview Chiefs? Although Lakeview hasn't had a winning season or a district championship since 2004, the Chiefs snapped a 16-game losing streak and won their first playoff game in four years last season. They're trying to build off that success in 2019. Take a look. Texas high school football is back. Schools around the Concho Valley took the gridiron today for the first day of two days, one of which was the Lakeview Chiefs, who are trying to build off a successful 2018. Oh, for sure, for sure, we like to build on that. We can, you know, that, that's, it was a good motiva motivator for us coming in, into this season. The Chiefs are coming off a season that saw them win their first playoff game in four years, sending Chief Nation into a frenzy. Now. Lakeview is harvesting their recent success and transforming it into motivation for the upcoming season. It motivates me a lot, and a lot of these players too, you know, coaches, um, a lot of people look up to us now since, you know, we, we broke that. Uh, it's been four years, like you said, and uh, it motivates a lot of us, uh, Northside community especially, so I think, I think it motivates all of us except just one, you know. I just, we just got to work harder. It's a lot of motivation to, like, win the first game, but we want to go farther this year. Lakeview snapped a 16-game losing streak last season that dated back to 2016, and senior Tony Murdens has a message for the Concho Valley ahead of the 2019 season. Don't sleep on us. So a lot of positives coming from Lakeview last season, but there's still a ton to accomplish. The Chiefs haven't secured a winning season or a district title since 2004. And you have to bet the Chiefs are aiming to change that narrative in 2019. Lakeview opens its season on August 30th against La Mesa. For KLSD Sports, I'm Ryan Reynolds. review of Texas high school football for Central and Lakeview. When we come back, season pass takes an inside look at District 4-3A with TLCA, Ballinger, and Grape Creek. Don't go anywhere. Season pass. We'll be right back. Summer sale at Ashley Home Store. Up to 25% off store-wide. Free bicycles of your choice. Get a king mattress with the price of a queen mattress. Plus, free bicycles only at your Ashley Home Store. The rule of three states. Things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Get over 6,700 below MSRP on this 2019 GMC Acadia Denali. Plus, get an additional 1,031 purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo.
Just about every big business in town knows Santex air filters, their service, and their quality. From the SAISD to Hirschfield to Rio Concho, now you can have the same quality air filters and service for your home. Come into Santex's office and buy one filter or buy in bulk, or you can have them make a custom sized filter while you wait. Santex Services also delivers to businesses as far as Sonora, Ozona, Abilene, Midland, and Odessa. Santex filters and services are trusted by our business community. Let them earn your trust too. Santex for your business and now for your home. Santex Services Incorporated, 64 East Avenue K. I switched from Dodge. We switched from Ford. I switched from Ram. I switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. We switched to Chevy. For dependability. For these guys. And just look at it. We, we switched, switched to Chevy. Chevy. See for yourself why people are switching at the Chevy All-Star Open House. Get over $3,200 below MSRP on this Traverse. Plus, current GM owners get an additional $1,250 cash allowance. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Summer sale at Ashley Home Store. Up to 25% off store-wide. Free bicycles of your choice. Get a king mattress at the price of a queen mattress. Plus, free bicycles. Only at your Ashley Home Store. Hey, welcome back to Season Pass. So we're talking about programs trying to change the culture here on Season Pass. It's a cliche used for every sports program and every sport everywhere. TLCA is included. The Eagles finished 1-9 last season, giving up 55 points per game. As Season Pass shows through the sights and sounds of two-a-days, they're ready to flip the script on Eagle football. Hey, 46, come to, 46, come to, ready, in the past, you know, TLCA has had some good football teams. You know, the last few years we've struggled. And, and it, it would be nice to be known, you know, known, you know, get that back where, where we, we are the premier school in San Angelo. I do think we are the premier school in San Angelo. I think we're the best school in the town. Um, that's not a knock on the other ones. That's just my opinion. Um, and right now we're working on the athletics to get that turned around and, and hopefully get that get our name out there that way. We've got to get better. Yes, but the main thing is you got to give it everything you got. Go as hard as you can. And you got we, we talked about it day one, and we're going, we put it behind it. We talked about it in the offseason. Um, we're going to learn from it. You know, last year was one of those years that, that, you know, we had any injuries all over the place, had to play a lot of freshmen, um, and, and it was just it was a long year. Um, but we're putting it behind it. Um, we've got some good experience from that. Uh, but our main goal right now is we get better every day. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about last year. I'm worried about today, and, and, and we're trying to put the focus on that this year. Hey, let's get fired up, D. Come on. We just we tell them you know keep 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 our heads up you know hustle and you know just look look into the future don't focus on the past you know let's worry about what we got going on now and hope for the best. Well, it's all about positivity. We try to we try to be positive around here. Uh, we fix our mistakes. I mean, we all make mistakes, so we just try to fix them and keep our heads up and keep going. We're trying to work on fundamentals. Jam them right here. Squeeze down that your gap right here. Uh, we're very very young, um, so we're trying to make better football players every day, and then that way when we first that first scrimmage, you know, we'll see how we compete. I think our our best strength right now is going to be um, hopefully we our running backs. Um, we got two really good running backs. Um, you know, I told them early on, I'm going to put a lot on them. Our motto this year is pound the rock. And, and of course, part of it is we want to run the ball and control the game that way. It's the old uh, stone cutters. They hit that rock thousands of times and they don't see anything. And then they hit it that thousandth time and it breaks that rock. And that's what we're working on. We're just trying to pound that rock, keep pounding that rock, keep pounding that rock until that rock breaks. And, and then, you know, we break through. Pound the rock on three. One, two, three. Pound the rock. TLC, TLCA trying to shock the rest of the Concho Valley. But what about the rest of District 4-3A? For those who don't know, District 4-3A consists of TLCA, Ballinger, Great Peak, Anson, Bangs, the district favorite Cisco, Coleman, and Merkel. So a ton of schools aligned in the District 4-3A, but I want to focus on Ballinger for a second. The Bearcats finished 7-4 and four overall last season, and they have a new coach running the show. Here's an inside look at Ballinger football. The Ballinger Bearcats were all in last season after finishing 7 and 4 overall before falling in the by district round of the playoffs. But 2019 is a new year. The Bearcats are ushering in a new mentality to pair with its heightened goals. This year, head coach Chuck Lipsy says it's time to rise up. Last year we wanted to be all in and I thought we were all in kind of like Clemson they're all in every year. That's what I told the kids we're going to be all in all the time, but we'll add to it. So I thought we've had two progressive years. This is the third year we're here. It's time to 
rise up and, and uh, excel at the end. Ballinger is now back to work with two days, hoping to improve on last year's finish. The Bearcats are returning 16 starters in 2019, which marks the second most in District 4-3A. Oh, it's, it's definitely an advantage. I mean, you know, it's just like us going, and it, you know, that doesn't mean anything uh, in the long run. You know, we're going to have to play every Friday night to get where we want to be, but it definitely uh, gives us advantage. One of those starters is senior quarterback Edgar Nunez, who Dave Campbell's picked as the district's preseason offensive MVP, but the multi-tool athlete isn't buying into the noise. Instead, he's rallying the troops with hopes of rising up and topping Cisco and the rest of the district when all said and done. I don't really look into that. I just want to play the best and, and the best that I can and the best for my team to help us succeed. I'd rather just like stay focused on what I need to do for my team instead of trying to like overthink. Ballinger opens its season in three weeks on August 30th with a home game against Brady at Bearcat Stadium. Staying with District 4-3A, the Grape Creek Eagles have a second-year head coach and enough returning players to change the script of Grape Creek football. Last season, the theme for the Eagles was rise. This year, they're taking a more family approach to two-a-days. The whole team, coaching staff, and all are donning white bracelets throughout training camp with the words Creek Family written on them. The team spoke to us about beginning two-a-days and their mantra for the 2019 season. Talking to several of the kids, several of the coaches, I, I don't think a lot of sleep was had last night. So it's kind of, you know, in the coaching world, this is kind of like Christmas morning. There, there's a lot of anticipation and not a whole, whole lot of rest the, the night before. You know, at Grape Creek, we are a family. We're an athletic family. We're a high school family. We're a community family. And wherever you go in life, once you leave this place, Grape Creek goes with you. He's led us to believe that we're going to grow as a family and we're going to be better. Don't be sleeping on us because we're coming. So a lot to look forward to in District 4-3A. Coming up on Season Pass, we'll take a look at the Wallhawks, Sonora, and Brady. Don't go anywhere. RM Electrical is San Angelo's premier choice for residential and commercial electrical services, big or small. For over 25 years, RM Electrical has gone above and beyond for our customers, making sure that our work exceeds their expectations. So whether you need new light fixtures, remodeling a kitchen, or building a new commercial property, you can trust RM Electrical to do the job right and treat you like family. Speaking of family, we're working on our fourth generation of electricians. RM Electrical. In the dark, we light the way. Need to refresh a room in your home? Yep, this one. Perfect, because right now at Furniture Row, you can get a look you love, starting at just 10 bucks a month. 10 bucks a month? That's right, just 10 bucks a month. And during the anniversary sale, you'll find hundreds of incredible rooms, starting at, you guessed it, just 10 bucks a month, plus four years no interest financing. Honey, we're going to Furniture Row! Enjoy the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. The anniversary sale, on now at Furniture Row. When working with electricity, there are no shortcuts or compromises. Ash Electrical Services knows there's only one way to service or maintain the electricity in your home or business. The right way. A way that employs the 25 years of experience of a certified master electrician. Prioritizing safe and diligent work that goes far beyond just meeting code requirements. From panel upgrades to lighting installation to safety inspections, Ash Electrical can do just about any service your home or business needs. Visit our website to see everything that Ash Electrical Services can do for you. Hey. Really? Hi, guys. We like the gray. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Rogue and Altima. Hurry in for Model Year End Savings on our full line. Save 3000 on the 2019 Nissan Altima or save up to 3500 on the 2019 Nissan Rogue. Welcome back, everyone. The Wall Hawks are in District 33A and are opening the season on August 29th against the defending 2A state champ, Mason Punchers. They're hoping to make a run at a state title of their own. Wall is working to pull off a 9-3 overall season that saw the team reach the regional semifinals for fall into Brock. Head coach Houston Guys says he's pleased with how his guys came out to start camp. You know, I was really excited about how these kids showed up, you know, the first day of August, you know, when we come in August the 5th, they, you know, most of them showed up in shape. Uh, most of them, you know, when we 
start the first uh, few hours of practice, you know, they're very knowledgeable about what we do, you know, both sides of the ball. So the learning curve wasn't as, as hard as it has been in the past and, and, and few, in a few years. And so uh, you can move quite rapidly, you know, installing some of the stuff that we install. So uh, we're pretty pleased kind of where we're at right now. A lot of coaching changes happened around the Concho Valley this offseason, and Sonora is ushering in the Kevin Sherrill era of Bronco football. Sonora had some success last season, but a new head coach can sometimes turn everything around. The Broncos have bought into a new scheme and are ready to leave it all on the field in 2019. Well, I've seen a, a want to be better, a want to have a better season than they did last year. We've got a million miles to go, but uh, the enthusiasm has been good, and that's the biggest thing for me. I want them to want to get out here and play football, and I want them to have fun. It's been really tough. It's something I've never experienced in my life. It's go and blow all the time, really just pounding ground. Every game, I want to leave it everything I got with my teammates, and I want to make sure everybody's doing the same. I don't want to have any regrets by the end of the season. Anytime you can return experience to a team, things click easier on the field, and a coach's job becomes a little bit easier. Of course, they still lose their voice at the end of camp. The Brady Bulldogs are no exception this year. They returned 17 total starters on both sides of the ball, all of which hungry to improve on their two-win record last season. Two days can be grueling, especially for returning players, but it's all fun and games until someone gets pegged with the dodgeball. Yes, head coach Shea Easterwood surprised the team with dodgeball at the end of practice, and he says it's a way of showing the kids that, yes, it's a business, but it can also be fun. I think the senior leadership, a lot of those guys have been through the fire w with us. And, you know, last year we were very competitive. We were very close in several other games other than the two that we, we were victorious in. And, you know, our seniors have really come together and they just finally realized, hey, you know, this is it. Us seniors, we've been playing together since middle school, since sixth grade. So we all have that team chemistry. We, like, grew up together, basically. We went through hard times. We went through the 0-10 season. Last year, we won some game or two games. You know, kind of bit like you saw the spark last year and last year's season. And this year, we, we're ready. We're ready to go and show out. Coming up on Season Pass, we take a deep dive into six-man football with District 13-1A. Stay with us. San Angelo's Furniture Row is reopening, and it's bigger and better than ever. You'll find the largest selection of incredible furniture and decor for every room at the lowest prices guaranteed. There's over 90 sofas to choose from, a huge selection of bedroom groups and kids' beds, and a great selection of quality, affordable mattresses from Denver Mattress, plus special financing plans to make your dream home a reality today. Stop in and join us for the grand reopening of the new, improved Furniture Row. Imagine a happier home where your best friends get to safely run and play while you go about your day worry-free. Invisible Fence Brands containment solutions keep your pets playing happily in the yard and out of harm's way. We can also help your pets avoid bad habits or unsafe areas, both inside and out. And you can even use the same computer collar to activate our high-quality pet doors. Now you can relax knowing they are safe, happy, and behaving well. Call or go online today for a free consultation. Hi, I'm Mike. MGB wants to be your MVP, most valuable payer. Bring your gold, silver, and diamonds to MGB, and you'll say... I sold gold, and I like Mike. On Avenue in by Angelo State. Hey, Alicia, how much can I actually save on a new Ford truck? You can save thousands at Jim Bass. Right now, get a brand new 2019 Ford F-150 XLT Super Cruise 4x4 and get 15 grand. Yep, that's what I said. 15 grand in total savings. Shop 24-7 at BassBucks.com. Hey, Alicia, who's the handsomest man in the car business? I do not think you know him. At Trend Furniture, it's four years, no interest, or tax back for cash, plus free delivery on everything in the store. And at Trend Furniture, we don't make you spend thousands of dollars just to get the no interest. It's no interest on every item and free delivery in town. Come to Trend Furniture right now across from Sunset Mall, 4002 Wellington. Oh, hey, welcome back to Season Pass. The letter E is used more often than any other letter in the English alphabet. It also appears in 11% of all words. Pretty easy to come by, right? Well, for the Eden Bulldogs, it means everything, and they have to work for it. Here's how new head coach Shea Vance is changing the culture in Eden. 
Dead. And we must be willing to pay that price. And um, we will focus on the daily grind. <laughs> we we'll focus on the daily grind because we know how we do anything. It's how we do everything. At Eden, you have to earn your E. Earn everything, you know, and uh, we're, we're really, really pushing that that it's, a, it's, a, that it's family first, and everything matters. And you know, everything that we do matters. Little things matter. Um, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to instill that in, into them that, that, that small things make big things happen. You know, our five things. You know, t uh, uh, toughness, service, character, commitment, and family. Those are, you know, if, I feel like if we feel like if you take if those things are focusing on your everyday life, then and, and you live it, and it's not just not just lip service. You're living those five things every day. You're going to be successful in whatever. Like with any football team starting a new season, there's questions that need answers. In the case of the Eden Bulldogs, those questions deal with finding an identity. Our question marks is what? Are, what are we? What are we? What are we going to? What are we about? Uh, what are we going to be? Um, you know, who who are we? And uh, who can we? And who can who can who can we count on? You know, so that's part. Of, that's kind of the earn everything. You, you, you know, the, through the decat, through the uh, core covenants and, and uh, the daily challenges, getting the uh, earning your earning your E, earning the sticker, earning earning. That, taking that question mark off your chest and putting on a, putting on an E. Oh, see, what you got to do is you got to work hard and these daily challenges that we have at the end of our practices every, every practice to get a reward. It's about family at Eden, and the defending District 13 1A champs are ready to come together for repeat season. It's a small town. We, we know each other very well, and uh, we hang out with each other. We, we can we can bond well. We have our ups and downs, but of course, it's a it's a it's a family thing. So it's kind of like a, a bond that we have that can't be broken. So Shay Avant spent 10 years at Robert Lee before taking that job at Eden, leaving the Robert Lee head coaching position vacant. So Q. Kerry Owens, the Hall of Fame six-man coach, spent 17 seasons at Highland, where he led them to 11 district championships and two state title appearances. Now he's trying to bring that winning mentality to the steers. So the question, after eight years of retirement, what brought Owens to the town of Robert Lee? And I had made some comments that, you know, someday I might want to do this again, you know. Robert Lee was a fit for me because that's my wife is from Robert Lee, so we knew a lot of the people. And, uh, so it, 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 it intrigued me from that standpoint. I knew the standard that they, they want to uphold as far as the way their kids uh, uh, perform and behave. So I decided I'd try it. We're just looking to come out and, and develop a, de start developing a program that, that can eventually compete with the elite, if not this year. So we're, we're going to come out, work hard, and, and hopefully surprise ourselves and, and those around. Football is a family affair, as we already heard with Eden and Grape Creek, but that's especially in West Texas for Paint Rock. Head coach Jeremy Wooten, he made his family literally a part of his football life. Not only is Wooten trying to establish a family mentality with the Indian football team, but he brought his son onto his coaching staff as the offensive coordinator, a father and son duo trying to change the culture of Paint Rock football. The way he can see stuff that I can't see, um, he's just football smart. He's younger, so he can relate better to the younger generation. Well, it's a blessing and a curse, really. Uh, he, he's more comfortable yelling at me than other coaches. So it, it's, it's really a blessing and a curse. That's all, that's all I can really say. It's an honor to coach with him, and uh, hopefully I can keep this going on forever. So, You know, I, I have nothing bad to say. It's been a dream. Uh, we go home. We talk about it. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a dream come true. That's, that's all I can say. It's just a dream come true, being able to coach with them. District 13 1A might be my favorite this year when it comes to storylines, but when it comes to play on the field, can't go wrong with District 8 2A. There was a three-way tie in that district last season. Find out how Cristobal, Miles, and El Dorado are working to prevent that from happening again. Stay with us. Six-function multi-pro tailgate available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Step up to GMC and get nearly 11,000 total value on this next generation Sierra Texas edition. 
It's Wild West Fest time. September 6th and 7th at the Roping Arena and Beer Barn. Friday. Colby Cooper headlines along with local sensation Case Harden. Saturday, gates open at 1230 and feature many of your favorites leading up to Jack Ingram. Saturday is BYOB with a $20 cooler charge. We'll also have a washer and cornhole tournament on Saturday starting at 2 p.m. Wild West Fest is made possible with the support of Shiner Bog, Linda's Pond, All-American Autoplex of San Angelo, and these fine sponsors. Proceeds go to support the Wall Ag Boosters. Get your tickets today at Stubwire.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Season Pass. Gustavo found themselves in a literally a splitting situation last season. District 8-2A could be the district to keep an eye on this season. Last year, the district saw Cristobal, Miles, and El Dorado split. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. The district championship, but Cristobal wants the title all to themselves in 2019. The Cougars finished 7-4 overall last season and are returning 18 starters from that team. Head coach Casey Otho said perfection is the goal this season and it's the driving factor to be the sole district champion. Uh, I'm excited to see if we can build off what we did last year. Uh, you know, we went seven and three in the, our first ten games, and I felt like we could have won a couple of those games. Uh, that that kind of let they, we kind of let them get away from us, and that's going to be our goal this year. Is, is to once we establish something, we want to continue, you know, with the with the momentum and and try to go ten and zero. That's our goal, you know. It's it's big motivation for sure. Um, last year we split the district championship, which we definitely should have won outright, but. Um, you know, we messed up in a game, so we're going to have to try to make that uh, make up for it this year and take it for ourselves. So that's Gustavo's mindset. You can bet across the way at Miles. They don't want that situation to happen again either. The Raging Red are coming off a 7-4 overall season. Like I already mentioned, the Bulldogs split that district title with Gustavo and El Dorado. Here's their thoughts on the upcoming season. We're going to play our game. We're going to do the best we can every single week, week in, week in. I, no doubt in our district, we've got to take it one game at a time. I really feel like that uh, our district is incredibly uh, competitive, and uh, you, we can't overlook anybody or anything like that. And, and as far as district championships goes, uh, yes, that's a goal. It's going to be a goal every year. Uh, but more importantly, right now especially, we're just trying to uh, be the best that we can be right now and work on us and not worry about everybody else right now. I'm always thinking about how we could have done better from last year and how we're actually going to come out and improve this year and make sure we don't make those mistakes and come out with a win. Man, we had a good season last year, and I feel like the, with the team we have now, we can do better. Which brings us to not, last but not least, I think that's the saying, El Dorado. You can bet they're doing the same. We swung by El Dorado's camp. And let me tell you, this season, the Eagles, they're in no sharing mood. They're ready to bring the golden ball back to El Dorado, and they know what's going to get them there. It takes, it's a cliche, but defense, hey, it wins championships. No doubt. We, you know, we talk to them all the time that offense wins games, but defense wins championships. Uh, and defense is a, an important part of being a very, very good football team. That's our, our first thing is play great defense is our first goal to win in football games. Uh, and you can look on that at any level. Going in a tie, was just not okay for us. So we want to get the whole thing this year. We want to hold the goal ball here in other area. Oh, it'd mean a lot. I mean, I've been dreaming, you know, just being the champion of everything since I was a kid, you know, being... If we could be outright champion, that'd be amazing. We've run out of time here on Season Pass. You can check out all of our content on ConchoValleyHomepage.com. Go ahead and download that app, too. Good night, Concho Valley. Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia.